Hello everyone, my name is Shredder and today we are playing through a horror game that is allegedly based on true events. And you guessed the name right, Man of Medan. So the actual events were recorded in 1948 in a Dutch newspaper where a merchant ship was found to have all of its crew dead under mysterious circumstances and all of them were scared and trying to defend themselves from something when their dead bodies were discovered. Only one crew member of the ship managed to transmit uh, a radio distress signal and call for help and uh, before dying he also declared that I'm also about to die and uh, that's that's the reason how the rescue came on board and they found the horrors of the ship. Now this game is a fictional take on that urban legend where a bunch of individuals are going to board that ship and they are going to discover what what happened on the ship and why we'll see. I'm uploading the entire game in form of small episodes uh, like a binge watchable series that you see on Netflix and Amazon and uh, you can watch the entire playthroughs of other games as well on this channel if you like it please uh, press the like button and uh, subscribe for more all right so let's get on with it man of medan oh is that the ship i think they are uh, doing the backstory first yeah <laughs> that's Loading line. The best of my friend. No, 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 why is there no ghost yet? Ah, it's gonna take time. No. Tiny knees. Alrighty, Buster. We better mosey on back to the ship. <coughs> Whoa. Stop the presses. What? Looks like old Charlie Charming's got a little business to attend to. <laughs> Can I fight? Hey, give me a quarter. Why? I'm gonna find out my future. Let's have it. What's in store for me, Pop? Uh, tell me about my son. Uh, I guess I just want to know about my son. Will he, uh... Is he gonna grow up all right? Things gonna work out for him? Very bad. Babu died. Babu. Babu. Tell me what you see. Okay. I think that that's their way of making us practice for the controls. It blue whale. Or a fish. Looks like a fish? A whale. That's a fish. Need us high for Kernung lights the run her from any direction. Just a doom issue to follow. Death. Wait, what? What does that mean? Hey, what does that mean? What the hell, man? <laughs> hey, bud. Let me get a go at it. Oh yeah? You think you got the stuff? Fine. Sure. Let me another quarter. I'm gonna start a tab. I'll give it a whirl. Okay, practice. Right, right trigger. Alright. 
Fuck you all. Oh, just in time. Oh, fuck, I missed. Thank you, Chinese. Thank you, Chinese. Have a nice day. She's already possessed. Hey, like just. We better get back to the ship. We don't want to get stranded. Come on, man. Just let me ask another question. We really need to get back. It looks like Bruce Willis. They have this uh, danger sign on it that, ah, uh, yes, hazardous maybe. Let's see. Okay, why why are they emphasizing so much on this cargo every time they're showing the cargo again and again? I guess we'll know soon. Hey man! Where are you going, gentlemen? Hey, where's my... Where's my 50 cents? 50 cents? What 50 cents? Come on, man! Hey! Buzz off! Buddy. Nobody pushes me around! Heh! <laughs> Knocked out! That's not good. Water inside the cargo hold. I'm Mr. Joe and I'm in the sick bay. Let's see what's going on. All these shiny things that I see around that they have some sort of clues in them. My strategy is always that before you get out of a door, inspect around. So I think when I leave the door, there will be uh, something miss that I, I might miss here. So I'll check the other doors first. Key. Must be important. Yes, grab it, inspect it, and uh, shove it up. What happened to him, Mr. Doctor? Hey, pasa? He's 
guys make it so realistic, man. Looks like a cutscene, but I'm controlling him. I can control his movements. Can I control his head? No. Just the uh, camera angle. Howdy, Charlie. How's your time off? Just get me out of here already. What the hell is going on up there? I heard aircraft and gunfire. Me too. And there was a... a corpse. What? In the sick bay. Something's wrong. Let's get out of here. Saving time with the heartbeat. Okay, bring it on. I think I know how to keep calm. Oh. It looks like Bruce Willis to me, man. Always good, huh? Damn, another stiff? Who's the lucky winner? Oh, damn it, Buckley. Fuck. Last time I saw him in the mess hall, he was fit as a fiddle. Poor fucker. So we're inspecting the whole ship now. Well, at least until something explanatory comes up. What's going on so, here? So, uh, is it just me, or are you getting a real strange feeling right now? Do I look like a guy who likes to talk about his feelings? <laughs> hey, Chuck. You see that kid over there? Uh, no. You feeling all right? You bloody goddamn kid! Come here. Charlie, More dead people. Get over here. That's how the newspaper accounts were, that they had all these scared faces. We have Thompson with us. Be all 
right. He's dead. Oh God, no! Charlie! Jack. Fuck. Mayday! Mayday! Is All right, that's the there? last guy. Hello? Looks like the prologue is finished. Now we're getting to the oh, present time. That's gonna be Mr. Curator coming up. Won't you spare me over till His entry is always like a, like a rock star. I like this music, man. All right, all right. Hello, Mr. Cre Curator. Show me your British accent. Hello. Hello. 
<laughs> and welcome to my repository. Hello. Like that spiffing bird you've seen his channel. What do you want to tell me? Anyway, this, this game is all about making decisions. You can make different decisions and different I'm outcomes. I'm the curator. Are there. The curator of stories. Stories of love and hate, greed and beauty, life and death. Stories such as this one. I'm here to record the story you choose to tell. You see, this tale is only part written, and the choices you make will complete it and determine whether the lives of those with whom you are interfering continue to flourish or whether they are snuffed out. Huh. You see, we each make decisions according to our own moral compass, and we have to live with those decisions or die by them. But you shouldn't fear death. It is, after all, inevitable. It is the tax one pays for having lived, and it comes, eventually, to everybody. Still, none of us want for it to come too soon, do we? No, sir. I don't. As in life, the actions you take matter. The choices you make will affect others. <laughs> I'll be keeping a close eye on your progress. It's not my place to interfere, but I might be persuaded to offer the occasional hint. Here's one for free. There are pictures in this world that can show you some possible futures. If you can find them and study them, they may just help you to make better decisions. Or should I say, decisions that result in the outcomes you would prefer. That's all for the moment. We'll talk again soon enough. We'll have the opportunity to account for all the actions that you've taken. Or whatever mess you've made. All right, let's go. Let's start this shit. Brad, he's witty, innocent, is Alex's brother. Ah, uh -huh. you can see by his t shirt buttons, he is innocent. Mama's wife, maybe? Ah, that's Mr. Alex. He's motivated, insecure. Think we got enough? If we run out, we can always call for backup. So, uh, look. I've never been down there before. Down? The water? Diving? All right, they're diving. Maybe you could show me how the pros do it. Are you serious? Uh, yeah. I mean, are you serious you came out here without taking any lessons? Uh, kind of, yeah. Yeah. I had to work. I wanted to. I just didn't, I didn't have time, you know? I had to work all summer. Oh, uh, fair enough, fair enough. <laughs> Whoa, careful. That dive cam is like super expensive. Look, bro, be cool. What? Julia and Conrad are, you know, how do I say it? Super fucking loaded. So? So don't sweat the little stuff, man. It's not cool. Don't make me regret letting you tag along. Hmm. I was invited. Uh, tag along? Seriously? I thought I was invited. Julia wanted you to come along. <laughs> For real? Julia? Yeah, man. She wanted you to come. I wanted her to see how cool you are, which you're not. So be cool. Capiche? All right, amigo. Calvary's almost here. Cool. Sorry I'm a little snappy. I'm just... The new medical school would be stressful, you know? <laughs> Total shocker. And man, the long distance thing with Julia, it's been rough. Ah, he's already fucked. It's been two weeks. It's been like two weeks. Mm -hmm. Huh? Long distance. <laughs> yep. Cynical. Right on cue. What? Conrad doesn't think we have enough beer. Ah, I guess I keep these in an undisclosed location. Yeah. Uh -huh. All 
right. Hey. So, uh, can I get your input on something? Yeah, what? This, uh, kind of a big thing I'm trying to make a decision about. About finishing med school? No, but it's just kind of a big life choice, you know? How to know what's the right thing to do. Um, give it some thought. You sure you're ready? Give it some thought. Consider all the permutations. Oh, here comes the cavalry. Hey! Julia Excite. Find his sister as his girlfriend Reckless. Or the foolhardy, relaxed Julia's brother. Mr. Conrad. Mm. Oh, <laughs> sorry. Connie, this is Alex. Hey. What's up, man? Conrad. <laughs> Watch it, sis. Lady killer, right here. <laughs> Good to finally meet you, Conrad. This is Brad, by the way, my little bro. Happy hey. days. Bradley! I feel like I already know you. I've heard so much about you. Yeah, uh, likewise. Miss me. Hey, man. Want to crack a colon with me? See the attention to detail they have put uh, on Julia's back? They have the bikinis, uh, tanning lines as well visible. Every second. Huh. Uh, that's a lot of seconds, cowboy. I mean, I would have gone with minutes. Yeah, cool. Yeah, that's yeah, cool. Uh, tight. Uh, I, I love beer. I, I love beer. <laughs> my, my, my mom told me not to drink beer, but uh, uh, I love beer. <laughs> I don't know how to open it, but Right on, I Radical. I like the cut of your ship. It's jib. Don't ruin it. You ever do any diving before? Jib. All the time. Oh, so yeah. <laughs> totally. Lying All the time. Nice. I was worried they're gonna stick me with a noob. Oh, uh, nope. Not noob. I can practically breathe underwater at this point. <laughs> so you uh, dive a lot? A couple, three times, you know, here and there, family trips. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. What do we have now? <laughs> Where's the old crust bucket skipper anyhow? Oh, Fliss, she's impatient, courageous. Captain of Duke of Milan. That's the ship. That's the jib. They call it. I like that. I invite you to make yourselves at home, but. Uh... So is everybody on board and ready to go? Diving location. <laughs> That's the expert of sea. That's Mr. it. Get Sisek. it all out. Uh, yeah. You uh, want to go lie down? Yeah. You know, maybe I should. Yeah. Oh boy. Oh boy. See those hot picks. Offshore North Range, Polynesia. What about over here? That's pretty far out of the way. I'm just thinking about Polynesia. backup targets in case we don't find anything on the dive cam. Listen, to be honest, I've never heard of this wreck you're looking for. Usually these things are crawling with divers. Yeah. This one's different. I'm just saying, if it gets too late, I know some nice places where you can just take, you know, a nice dive. Hmm. Uh... Brad did his homework, he knows. Brad did his homework. If he says the wreck's here, it's here. Okay, look, you're the client. I'm just saying we don't have unlimited daylight. I'm gonna go help Conrad and Julia with the camera. A camera. What you got? Feast your eyes on this. Brad's calculations were right on the money. Always bet on Brad. Uh, kid's a whiz. We should thank him. Bliss, we found a plane. Yeah? Yeah, looks like World War II. We are ready to dive. Uh, technically, we should call this in to port authorities as an unreported wreck. Well, technically. Are you sure you don't want to do this the right way? Fuck no. 
Who cares? Look, for all anyone knows, we were just diving and then found it. So who cares? The right way. Come on, what is this, kindergarten? I had to bring it up. If we just go down and take a look, who's gonna know? Fine. As long as you're quick. And don't touch anything. Oh. I just can't wait to be the first one down there. Can you imagine? Untouched? We should be ready to get you guys in the water in a few. I'll set up the tanks. The boys will do the final checks. Take a look at the camera, see if you can find anything useful. Right out. Hey, maybe you should check on your bro. Hmm. Already dictating terms to Mr. Alex. Hey, hey. Hey, sweetie. What's here? Hmm. Opening up here. Might be a way in. This doesn't look kosher. Hmm. All right. Uh. <laughs> you know how to use that? Uh. No, I just fucking no. with your equipment. Not really. <laughs> you might want to just let it do its thing. He <laughs> switched it off. <laughs> <laughs> That's what the cadets do. Just don't know what to do, just fucking fiddling with everything. Mr. Bro, what's how up? are you? How you doing? Sorry, that brewski got the better of me. Don't worry. Hey, all part of the adventure. Sorry for putting a damper on things. No worries, dude. Took more than that just to screw up the trip. Just get some rest. Come back when you're feeling better. Painting. Huh. What am I Upcoming future. Here? Not a worthy clue, really. Iron drive. There's a little gap in the tail. Take a look. Can you show me? Who is it? Interesting photographs. Where's the gap in the tail? Like the forward of the ship. Maybe this one. Fuck you. I don't know, my friend, what you're talking about. Almost got the gear good to go. Thanks for paying. So, thanks again for springing for the good stuff. Nice to be able to do it right. Uh-huh. What? You know, the size of my bank account is not in a competition with the size of your penis, right? <laughs> I won't equal I'll still do good. But if it was a competition, I'd still do pretty good, right? Well, if you adjust for inflation, gotta say, not too happy with our captain at the moment. The certificate is fake. So, about that. I just wanted to let you know I'm pretty sure her diving license is fake. The seal's like pretty much coming off. And it's got a couple suspiciously misspelled words. Explains why she's acting so weird. Wonder what else she's hiding. Yeah. At least we can use it as a bargaining tool if They're she pulls any more right behind her. bullshit on us. <laughs> but my dad's lawyers would love to hear all about it. Uh-huh. All right. I'm gonna get these rebreathers set up, and then we'll go through the final steps together. Make out a cool. life. Just holler then at us when you're ready. The, the father's lawyers. Till then, let's get fucked. Hello. 
Hi. You know, we have rules out here for a reason. You guys gotta respect that. Fuck you. Paid for this. Bliss, we paid a lot of money for this particular dive. In this particular spot. Every time I take a group of you people out, it's the same thing. No regard for anyone else's customs. Stop these judging. rules are all pretty basic stuff. How much experience do you have with these kind of dives? Fake credentials. How experienced are you? <laughs> Excuse me? I mean, I know what your fake credentials say, but I don't know the truth. I shot a fight. <laughs> Were you snooping around? You don't trust me? No. The fake certificate is only temporary. My old one expired and renewal out here is like extortion, okay? This dive is supposed to bankroll the fees. But that's not exactly following the rules now, is it? <laughs> hey guys, so I guess that applies to all ready. of us. No? Tanks a lot. For all you know, this could be a war grave. Disturbing it would be illegal and immoral. Who's gonna know? I got it. How much? No, I get it. How much? Oh, fuck. Compass. Fine. <laughs> I get it. How much you want? How much? Oh, How much what? How that. much money will it take for you to stop breathing down our necks? You... <laughs> this is not about the money. He's pissing her off. I can't stop you. Just respect the rules down there. Don't do anything stupid that'll get my ass in trouble. Very good. Now she's fully pissed off. Let's get on with the dive. Okay, so this <laughs> is the rebreather. Way cooler than a regular scuba setup. Okay. It takes all that CO2 that you'd normally just exhale into the water, and instead it gets totally reused. Then it reduces decompression time on your way up. State of the art. Okay, O2 check done. Eager Beaver, you gotta check your O2 first. Yeah. Thanks for sending me straight. Okay, you little clown fishes. I'm gonna go see what Fliss is up to. You behave, Connie. Looking for a first mate. Yeah. Nah, you fucking fair. Uh, I'll take this. You just don't give up, do you? Stick. Are those two going in or I'm what? Sort of sick. I know the weight is interminable, but soon. I got the bank stick. Bank. Yeah, I heard that about you. Ha ha. You ever have to use one? All right, On a kids. shark? Nope. Good to go. <laughs> Just remember the rules, please. Julia. Fliss better not be pissy this whole trip. Yeah, she should remember who's signing the checks. Very large checks. Ought to buy us at least a little wiggle room with the rules. <laughs> you gave me the camera anyway. Nice sunny day. Private boat. No romance. Why so serious? Why so serious? Oh, you good? More or less. 